All right, for all you non-pickup truck types, these two three-quarter ton pickups may look the same, but they're not. Why is that, Nathan? This here is the Luxury King. Plus, that is old and this is new. In fact, yeah. for just over $36,000, this Hemi is a bargain. You get four-wheel drive, you seat six, and you can tow up to 10,000 pounds. What do you get for that behemoth? Oh, you get a really big V8, but what you get is an all-wheel drive system, not four-wheel drive, and you get a lot of luxury appointments. You know, this really feels like a Cadillac. That's oh, what it feels like to me, at least. Of pickups. Yeah. So, coming up next on the fast lane car, it may not seem like it, but it's a true TFL car mashup. I know it doesn't look impressive, but it really is. It's a 6.2 liter V8 that puts out 403 horsepower and more importantly, 417 pound-feet of torque. It's hooked up to a six-speed automatic transmission that's about the smoothest I've ever tested, and it's hooked up to all-wheel drive. What does that mean? It's a heavy truck that can move out of its own way, thank God. Yep, it's a Hemi, all right. And best of all, it's a Hemi that puts out 395 horsepower and 407 pound-feet of torque, which means it's almost identical to Nathan's beast. But because this is the new, brand new 2013 Ram, it actually gets better fuel economy for a combined, well, 15 miles to the gallon. I know that doesn't sound great, but this actually has cylinder deactivation to get that combined 15 number. Yes, this is the last year for this particular vehicle, but while it's here, GMC decided to put as much chrome as they could possibly get on it. So, I mean, it's dripping all over the place. Chrome, 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 chrome. I am really surprised the hood is in chrome. Although that'd be really interesting for low flying aircraft. Wheels, 20 inch chrome. And just in case you forgot where all your money went, it went right here. Denare, which means mucho buckos. Bottom line is, if you like chrome, get the Denali because I can't think of another vehicle on the road that comes from the factory with this much chrome. Dude, that is really old school. It is very old school. I mean, you could brush your teeth in those tires and wheels because they're so shiny. Yeah, I tried to fix my hair once by looking at it right here. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if you could not tell the brand new 2013 Ram from the 2012. There's a little bit more presence in the grill and these fog lights, well, now they're vertical instead of horizontal. And this is probably one of the biggest, beefiest, and manliest pickups out there. If you follow me around this way, you'll see that from the side, they've put out a big ass Ram 1500 logo so that you know what you're driving. And perhaps my favorite feature is you get these optional 20 inch wheels. The more manlier, the better when it comes to pickups. Welcome to the interior of the GMC Denali. Wow, it's old and it's going to be replaced very soon, thank God, because yeah, hard plastics just about everywhere you touch, and unfortunately that means that the overall feel of the interior is on the cheap side. For the amount of money you're paying for this, over $53,000, it doesn't quite feel like you're getting the most for your money. Fortunately, you do have heated and cold seats, which are located on the door. I don't know why they're located on the door, but they're located on the door. And you get this amazing looking, kind of fake looking wood, and a heated steering wheel, which is one of the thinnest in the industry. So. Bottom line, they could do a better job and hopefully next year they will. Dude, that's a lot of leather you're getting. You are getting a lot of leather and the seats are really comfortable. Now I said this was the bargain of the pickup world. Ram does make a workman version of this which is cheaper in the 20s. So $36,000 is a lot of money. The interior is a little bit reflective of some cost cutting. I mean, this handle is very plastic, a lot of hard plastics, big beefy steering wheel, but once again, somewhat plastic. Very tidy, uh, very clean interior, 
comfortable seats. You know, it's not bad. Uh, it's not something that I'm wowed by, but at the same time, it's all about the functionality of this pickup, the power, the hauling capability, and not necessarily, you know, how dainty or tidy you feel sitting behind the wheel. Hey, Nathan, can your pickup do this? <laughs> Seat six? Dude, didn't you know luxury now means less seating? I mean, look at all those luxury cars with only two things in the back. I think my vehicle is very luxurious. <laughs> so less is more. Less is more, baby. Hey, Nathan, earlier this year, I took the Ram from zero to 60. How long do you think it took? Uh, up here? Yeah. 10 seconds? 9.52. Can you beat it? Uh, well, I do have all-wheel drive, and it's automatic all-wheel drive, so maybe I get better traction, but I'm, I don't know. All right, go for it, dude. Let's see. All right, let's find out. My secret weapon? I have all-wheel drive. See what that does. Here we go. Not a bad start for a big lug. This thing actually has got some cojones! <laughs> oh my god, I annihilated Roman. <laughs> it's, it's, it's impressive, really, because I just didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. All right, Nathan, what is the verdict? Were we able to beat 9.5? Oh, significantly, my friend, 7.95. Seriously? Seriously. Holy cannoli. Yeah. Wow, that is, that is impressive. So Nathan just misspoke a little bit when it came to his time, but you know what? I can't let that stand. Maybe last time I did the 0-60 to 60 run, I didn't do something right, but this should be faster than 9.5. So I'm going to give it one more shot. I got the slow DL set up. I'm setting up a little bit of torque, and here we go. Come on, Ram. Let's take on that Denali. Come on, and here comes 50, and here comes 60. All right, I was a little faster. 9.16, 9.16. Six speed automatic transmission. Doesn't seem to shift very fast, but you have to give this round to the Sierra. So Nathan, were you able to go under nine seconds oh. in the Ram? I yes, I was. Yep. How'd you do it? 8.53 and I did it by using the manual mode. Piece of cake, let it go closer to the red line, went faster. Yeah, that's the thing about the six speed. It goes to about 50 and then the power just falls off a cliff and you're like, come on 60, come on 60. All right, so on the TFL scale of buy it, rent it, lease it, or forget it, what do you give this? The GMC Denali, folks, I gotta be honest with you, wait for the next one. I give this one a rent it. And I'm gonna give that one a lease it to own. So somewhere between buy it and lease it. I think um, maybe the eight speed will get there, but with a 5.7 liter Hemi, it should be faster. Should be a little bit faster. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Saying, see you next time on the Fast Lane Car, and thank you for watching. When we talk about steering feel, what we normally try to discuss is how it feels through the steering column, in through the steering wheel, and whether or not we actually have any road feel. That way we can figure out what the front wheels are doing. And let's face it, it's a pickup truck, so it's not that big of a deal. But I'll tell you what is. The actual steering wheel, in this particular case, this is the thinnest steering wheel I've felt since driving a 1965 Mustang. I kid you not, it's really skinny, and I don't know, I think fat steering wheels are the way to go. Otherwise, in terms of just being a regular commuting truck, it's smooth, it's simple, you can steer it with one finger, old school.